Okay, we're waiting on some parts. So I popped out the OBD2 uh, port. And I'm gonna see, try to troubleshoot it and see why it doesn't, you can't get codes off it. Is the port broken or is there something else going on? So, um, got a multimeter. We're gonna check for power first because the code reader's not turning on. Okay, so the wire's coming into it here. The orange one is power on, four and five are, so there's 16, so that one's power, and four and five are supposed to be universal grounds, and number two is our data from the computer. So we're gonna test the grounds and the power, just see what we got. Well, the 12 volt constant power might be the issue then, because either the grounds are no good, or... I wouldn't be surprised if there's just no power going to it. And I've checked all the fuses, it's not a fuse. After taking our handy dandy ground tester with the light bulb in it, poking around under here for a while, trying to find out why there's no power going this thing. Like I can assume that the data port purple there and the two grounds are good, maybe. Um, the orange one definitely doesn't have power. So I know the grounds are probably okay because my ground tester is using the ground on the seat belt or the seat belt on the door latch. Um, poking around in here, I did find a couple spots. So I'm probably gonna grab, boop, that guy right there. Unhook the battery. I'm gonna splice in a vampire tap and hook it up to, where is it, the orange wire. See if that helps. Apparently I'm a big old numbskull today and I didn't hit record. So, in summary, <clears throat> we snipped the wire. That was up there. The battery is disconnected right now. We have another piece of red wire. I'm going to twist into there. And then everybody's favorite, butt connector butt connector on there. A little lacking on space under here. Okay, that's in there good. Other side of the butt connector, we're gonna put back in our donor wire harness connector here. Boop. Actually, that's pretty loose in there. I might put an extra piece of wire in with it just to make it a bit more snug. Just a little piece. And if you're really concerned, you can tape up the end here, which I probably will anyway. Uh, yeah, I'll put a little tape on there. With how this has been going, I don't need any more surprises. Ooh, that's a lot of tape. I think I picked too much tape out of there. Okay, anyway. So, there's our new connector. We have a, put this back into the old Butt head connector here. All right. Yeah. That's in there. All right. Now we're going to tape all that together. Butt connectors and tape. Okay. Plug our connector back in over here. Good. Now we have a donor wire. <clears throat> now here's our OBD2 connector here. We're just gonna cut back a little bit. Maybe up in here somewhere. 
Yeah. All right. We'll give it a snip. Snip and strip. Snip and strip. Sounds like a club for men with vasectomies. Anyway. Okay, we're going to get uh, another one of our favorite connectors. Actually, maybe we won't do butt connector on this one. Yeah, we will. Okay, fine. Jam in this other guy here. Bend the top, make it a bit thicker. Better connection. Alrighty. Squeeze. Let's go plug in the battery and see what happens. Alright. Got the battery plugged in. Quick test of the port is there's power we got power going to it now all right oh, kind of nervous about this because if i screw up this reader i gotta buy my wife a new one okay oh it turned on We have power. Detecting protocol. Auto link. Ooh, where's the key? Should probably uh, uh, turn this to whatever to get it started. Here. Link to something. It says linked. Thinking about it. It's just your vehicle. Yes. Crankshaft position system variation not learned. Ooh. That's a new one. I've never seen that one before. It's a PO315. Okay. Crank uh, position sensor perhaps or i have to look that one up maybe cool okay well apart from fixing that error code we got the obd2 port working and uh hope this helps you out with your endeavors and trying to fix all your shenanigans see you in the next video